Uh, hello guys, so welcome to the 19th October Market Insight Series video. Uh, my name is Ryan and I will be covering the dollar, DF, uh, dollar index DXY for today and uh, my teammate Gordon will be covering the sterling later on. So as we can see here, um, from the 11th of, of October, the market started breaking down and it actually broke the intermediate uptrend and it, ha it has been declining since then and um, just yesterday it has broken the 200 day moving average and it's very clear that the short term intermediate trend has turned bearish however um, because the 14 day RSI is near oversold um, there might be a retracement back to the uh, 9790 resistance level uh, and then the next resistance level is located at 9866 however over the long term longer term uh, I tend to believe that the dollar index will continue going down and you will firstly reach the target 9660 and then you will try to test 9597 and the reason behind it uh, I believe it's threefold. Firstly, there's weaker US data. And then that leads to the second factor, which is the FX spot market starts to price in higher probability of rate cuts and uh, higher intensity, so from 25 to 50 basis point. Uh, so if we go to the bond futures market, uh, we can see that Um, by January 2020, the market is pricing the Fed fund rate at 1.5%. However, the uh, bond futures market has started uh, pricing in this rate cut since mid-September. So the spot FX market has been lagging behind a little bit. And then the last reason behind this move is due to the Brexit news, positive Brexit news, which um, makes sterling very bullish. And because the uh, British pound weighed around 12% of the, uh, the overall DXY, so it's also contributing to the fall. So thank you, Ryan, on a great analysis. So today I'll be analyzing the British pound and US dollar pair. And when we look at the past week, we've seen a strong bullish run um, for this pair and it is due to the possibility of a Brexit deal and also uh, the weakening of the USD, which Ryan has talked about earlier. <clears throat> so from the previous week, we've seen a strong bull run and this is confirmed from the breaking of two resistance lines as shown here, 1.2573 and 1.2753. And also it's closed above the 200 day moving average. Also the long term target should be about 1.3184 and this is the upper resistance level. However if we do look at the 14 day RSI we see severely overbought conditions and just to look closely in the 4 hour chart we can see a divergence where the RSI is slowly decreasing whereas the chart is still making bullish runs <clears throat> and however it would be really dangerous to short at this area because looking back at previous examples where there has been really strong RSI so on 17th of January 2018 although the RSI was overbought we can see uh, the British pound and USD strengthening further so even though RSI is overbought here and should pull back later in time, it would be a dangerous time to short in a strong bull market. So to look out, things to look out for in the upcoming week should be any progressions of the trade talks and also to look out for any data coming from our US markets. Thank you.